Yesterday, very unfortunately, uh, my pegawai seranta, my personal assistant, Miss Warinda Ko, seated next to me, was a victim of snatch theft. It happened at about uh, 9.30 in the evening when she was walking back to her premises at Jalan Cheeseman, Cheeseman Road, whereby she uh, was uh, two, two uh, uh, men on a motorcycle from the back that uh, pulled her gold chain and handbag. And she was lucky to have, in fact, uh, warded them off. One of the men actually fell, however, got back up and uh, gone on to the motorcycle when his other friend was waiting and they, they fled the scene. So that's what happened yesterday. Uh, I'm very thankful nothing worse or serious happened to Varinda. Uh, however, uh, having regard to this incident, I wish to say that uh, even the Wiley's Pagawai Saranta is, uh, you know, can be a victim. So, number one, I would urge uh, the members of the public to be a little bit more alert and careful uh, at all times. And number two, whilst I started by praising the CPO, the Penang Police Force, for their very good work uh, thus far, because of this incident, of course, I called them to improve on it. There is room for improvement, so maybe they can uh, use this particular incident. Because we know that in Malaysia, case-case uh, ragot snatch theft cases are uh, prevalent. So now this has happened, so maybe uh, what the police can do, I will be officially writing to the CPO to step up patrols uh, in the area in the, of, in the vicinity of uh, Jalan Cheeseman. And, and of course, maybe uh, also suggest further uh, increase in uh, patrolling uh, in uh, all other areas in Penang. I think uh, if you have no questions of me, maybe you want to ask certain things. Yeah, I think because she, she will be able to do that. I think maybe you wonder you. She's quite traumatized. Fortunately, there were no uh, physical injuries. I think her finger, of course, is swollen because of the uh, attempt to try and ward off the assailant. Uh. So it's a bit swollen. But like I said, luckily, there is no further injury. You know? And we've heard of cases, ragged cases, where even death can ensue. You fall on the, you know, your head bangs the pavement. We've, we've seen so many of these cases. So it happened last night. Thank God nothing happened worse to Warina. And because of this particular incident, I call upon the police to increase uh, their, their presence, their patrolling, because there is still room for improvement. So we, we hope that we will continue to, to see positive movement in the reduction in the crime uh, index. Maybe Varinda, you want to just uh, say uh, what happened, how it happened? I happen. was walking in along Tristan Road and um, I saw a motorbike going past very fast. So I was suspicious that something might happen and I walked to one of the houses in the neighbourhood where he had a CCTV outside. I pressed the bell a few times but he didn't open the door and it was in front of the house that I was robbed and so on. So after doing a police report and so on, about 11.45, the police went to the house and the uncle said he'll go through the CCTV and pass it on to the police. So I just hope that he does it and um, this can be prevented in future. My colleague dropped me at McDonald's and I was walking in. Cheeseman Road is the one in front. Oh, yeah. Next to the church, there's a, I think the church eh? and, and uh, the hospital. The, the, uh, the chief minister lives a few roads down there. <laughs> well, of course, he doesn't walk back. <laughs> <laughs> so I think. Uh, you know, that we, we take a big iktibala daripada incident here, what has happened to Warinda. She's certainly traumatized. In fact, I told her don't come to work, but I think she feels a little bit safer coming to work and, and insisted that she wanted to come in today. So, you know, very, very unfortunate.